Hi, my name is Carly Rae Jepsen and you're watching Frenzy TV. I'm ready, yeah. So Emotion is going to be a third album. It's yes. out soon. Yes. So what kind of experience have you gotten from the two previous albums that you've taken into making this one? Um, well, Talk of War was only released in Canada. That was my first album and um, I, you can kind of listen back to it and hear what sort of journal entries were being put to music there. There was no real idea about song structure or um, how you're supposed to construct it or anything like that. It was just from the heart, very young, very innocent. And um, with Kiss, uh, the second album, I think I had just kind of started my love affair with pop music. Call Me Maybe was essentially one of the first pop songs I ever made and we had a very rushed amount of time to kind of follow that up with an entire album, about two months actually. And it was a really fun challenge as a writer, it was kind of um, exciting uh, but scary too. Mm. Um, with Emotion I was quite stubborn, I, I knew I had tried two different ways of going at writing an album and I wanted to really take my time with this one. And I did, I learned so much about the art of writing music. I got to work with so many fantastic people and um, I made something that I'm truly proud of, probably more proud than both of the other albums combined, so I can't wait to share it. But you said that you've written 200 songs for this album. I'm um, not exactly for this album, but I definitely in the process of Kiss to Emotion wrote about 200 songs and ideas. Yeah, I, I had a lot of time and I um, was having fun experimenting. So tell us more about the album. What's behind the title Emotion? I, I finally, in New York, had a day with um, three other writers, Nate Campany, CJ Barron, and Ben Rollins. And it was right in the middle of my Broadway run. I actually had to go be Cinderella that night. But during the day, we worked on this song called Emotion. And it was that first song that triggered, oh, this is what I want to do. This is where the album's going to go. And uh, so it felt very fitting to kind of title, it, title the whole album that. And um, I came up with the idea of spelling it out phonetically at a photo shoot. And I just kind of liked the idea that you had to almost like feel out the word <laughs> uh, sound-wise. And it just, uh, yeah, it just felt right. So what has been the main inspiration for this album? I don't know if there's just one thing. I was listening to a lot of Prince. I was a big fan of Dev Hines, still am, and I was loving what he was doing. Um, and then, I don't know, I kind of let myself be inspired by everything. I it traveled a lot with, with even the process of making it from LA to New York to Sweden to UK and then also um, a bit in Canada as well. So uh, you kind of get inspired by a city I find too. I definitely remember being in Stockholm for example and being up till four in the morning um, just walking around the city and having an idea the next day that we had to put to music and, and yeah. that's. It's really great memories, actually. So you mentioned that you like being in the studio, but what has been the most funniest? The most funny? I mean, I think there's something hilarious about when you get really exhausted and you're in the middle of making uh, or tracking an album. Uh, on some of these sessions, like when I was in Stockholm, we had about a week to finish writing and recording a song that everyone was excited about at the label and we were really excited about it as a team. And we didn't get it all done in time, so they extended our trip by two days, or my trip by two days, which was wonderful. But we were exhausted and we were staying up till like four or five in the morning, recording vocals and getting the harmonies done. And in the middle of this, we were kind of all becoming friends. And um, they were teaching me Swedish words. I think uh, ginger snap is pepakaka. And I'd get really tired, and when I'm tired, I'm just so silly. So we're doing ad libs, and once in a while, I would just like sing out pepakaka. That <laughs> would probably be the silliest moment. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, we have this quite funny, not yet so famous thing. It's called the Frenzy Hat. Frenzy Hat. I yeah. like it. So, if you'd like to pick some. <laughs> okay. If you could pick any music artist, past or present, whom you'd like to work with, who? Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper, because she actually inspired this album very much in the whole 80s uh, sound of it. I saw her play in Osaka and again in Tokyo, and she just blew me away. Mm. And as soon as I saw it, I knew. I've got to dig into that. <laughs> if your coming album emotion were an emoji, what would it be? The salsa dancer. Oh, why is that? Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, because um, it's traumatic. <laughs> it's a statement. Do you use that emoji a lot? I do. She's my favorite one. Whenever I'm trying to convince my girlfriends to come out with me, I send the salsa dancer. They know it's going to be a night. <laughs> Toss it. All right, next. 
Do you have any role models? I have so many role models. Um, I think my mother is one of my role models. She's just one of the most joyful people you'll ever meet and so kind. You'll find her kind of making conversation with every person that she can and you can tell that she improves their day and it's just lovely to be around her. She'd be my role model. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. <laughs> it was lovely. Great.